Hello, this is John Squared. Today we will be comparing three cordless or truly wireless earphones. The Apple AirPods, Samsung Gear Icon X 2018, and the Sony WF-1000X. First, let's take a look at their form factor. The AirPods are made out of plastic, as are the WF-1000X with a chrome-like coating. The Icon X are made of plastic with a rubberized texture. They all come with a complementary case for charging and pairing. The AirPods are the most compact of the bunch, with the Icon X coming in at second place. The WF-1000X's case is noticeably bulkier than those of the two, presumably due to the units being larger. However, none of them are large enough to inhibit carrying in your pocket. Let's take a look at their comfort. As the AirPods are earbuds, they exert no pressure on ears and are comfortable for long listening sessions. However, its earbud nature offers little flexibility in terms of fit, so if they do not fit your ears, you can't do much to fix it. The Icon X and the WF are in-ear monitors and are inserted in your ear canals. They create pressure in the ear canal and this may be uncomfortable for long listening sessions for some. Also, foam tips can be used on both, which some may prefer for comfort and increased isolation. Both the Gear Icon X and the Sony WF-1000X has replaceable wings that go into your contra to secure them into your ear. All of the earphones did not have issues with falling out. The AirPods may be susceptible to falling out for people with non-average ear shapes, and there are accessories and ear hooks to prevent this, but since it cannot go into the charging case with those on, it limits the usability greatly. The three earphones vary greatly when it comes to ease of control. The AirPods can be tapped to control playback, control, or to pull up Siri, and they detect when the user is wearing them. The Sony has a physical button on each side. The button on the left unit controls power on and off and noise cancelling level control. The button on the right is for playback control. The Icon X has touchpads on both units which you can touch or swipe to control volume, playback, and other actions. The Icon X has 4GB of internal memory and can be used as a standalone MP3. Note that the programming of the controls for AirPods can only be done in iOS, and configurations to the Gear Icon X can only be done in Android. We will not be going into detail about platform-specific features that don't directly relate to sound or usability, such as voice recognition and health features, as they are not directly comparable and we didn't think these features are very relevant to the purchasing decision. Before going into sound, as always, sound is a subjective thing and perception may change due to ear shape, ear canal shape, and many other factors, so it is best that you test the earphones before buying. Also, the three earphones all have above average sound quality, and none of them had major dips or peaks in the frequency range that made them uncomfortable to listen to. The Icon X has a strong bass, and it does not roll off and has a nice sub bass. The mid range is relatively flat with a slight boost in mid bass, so vocals have a hint of darkness but is relatively flat. There seems to be a peak or emphasis in the extreme highs making the hi-hat stand out, and may give a slight harshness to the sound. The WF-1000X has a similarly strong bass, which does not roll off and has a nice sub-bass. The mid-bass is also strong making the vocals sound a bit dark. The highs are also slightly strong yet well balanced. There seems to be a slight coloration in the vocals, but this was minimal and it could be due to my perception. This is in sound priority mode as connection mode compresses the sound, making it sound harsh and introduces artifacting. There is an equalizer with presets in the Sony headphones app, which doesn't have the customizable EQ but still adds a bit of tunability. The AirPods have a relatively flat sound, but it struggles with sub-bass reproduction. The sound also changes significantly depending on people and how you wear it due to the amount of seal, depth of insertion, and ear canal shape. If inserted deep, the bass to mid-bass increases, and with a more shallower insertion, the mid-bass is decreased. For me, the mids and the highs sounded best when fully inserted, although this was not the case for some other people.
In situations where you want to let an ambient sound, the AirPods perform the best since they do not create a seal. The Icon X and WF-1000X can let ambience in with microphones, and while it sounds less natural, it is nonetheless functional and proved enough for ambient awareness. However, the ambient mode of the Gear Icon X can only be controlled through the app at this time, and therefore cannot be used on iPhones. For isolation, both the Sony and the Samsung isolate well due to their IEM design. The Sony has a slight edge over the Samsung with its active noise cancelling. However, the noise cancelling of the WF-1000X is significantly limited compared to other models in the 1000X family and cannot cancel out bass too much. For more isolation, foam tips can be used on both as they use standard shaped nozzles. For the Gear Icon X, one thing to know is due to the size limit of the charging case, short size foam tips such as Comply Truly Wireless will have to be used on the earphone. Also, the provided silicone ear tips on the Icon X are rather thin and has a flimsy stem, so it does not isolate optimally for me. Therefore, I suggest buying aftermarket silicone tips for better isolation, although it may alter the sound signature slightly. For battery life, the AirPods and the Gear Icon X have up to 5 hours of playback. But the AirPods have better long-term endurance due to the charging case being able to make over 4 charges, while the Samsung can only do 1 extra charge. The Sony's are last with 3 hours of playback with 2 charges with the charging case. Charging cables are all different, Sony having Micro-B, AirPods Lightning, and Gear Icon X using USB-C. In terms of connectivity, the AirPods provide a strong connection with negligible latency. The Icon X has slightly more latency, but is nonetheless very usable for video and everyday work. The WF-1000X suffers from the most latency, rendering it almost unusable for tasks outside of listening to music, such as video. In terms of the stability of the connection, the AirPods were the most stable, stuttering only very infrequently. The Gear Icon X seemed to drop connection between earphones only once in a while. The Sony WF-1000X suffered most from frequent drops in connection. The right unit seemed to disconnect and reconnect every 10 minutes or so, which varies depending on surroundings and other factors. Also, there are two connection modes for WF-1000X, Sound and Connection Priority. The Sound Priority connection seems to use the full bandwidth of SBC, however the Connection Priority mode, which was updated a week ago, seems to compress the sound greatly at about 64 kilobits per second and has a lot of artifacting. Before the update, it seemed to be 128 kilobits. The usage of lower bandwidth does seem to help with the connection a bit, though. All three earphones have a bit of white noise, but the Gear Icon X and the Sony WF-1000X are slightly louder and may be audible at very lower volumes, and this may also be due to its better seal and noise isolation. In conclusion, if you want a non-isolating option with a relatively flat sound and a very long battery life with a compact case, get the AirPods. If you don't care about watching videos too much and want a good isolation, with a lot of bass and slight emphasis on the treble coupled with a bit of tunability, get the Sony's. Finally, people who want a similarly bass-heavy sound with brighter vocals, with still above average isolation and battery life, will prefer the Icon X. This was John Squared, and thank you for watching. We're also planning to do a standalone review of the Gear Icon X, so please subscribe if you are interested.